Hi there. So in this video, we are going to create a product that we can sell online. All right. So uh, the prerequisite for that to to be able to create a product to sell online, number one is you need to have a sales page. So this page that we made earlier, I'm going to use it as the sales page for this particular video. All right. So we made this page. I'm going to use this one as my sales page. Next thing that you need is a checkout page. All right. So I have just created a random checkout page just for the, you know, for this video purpose, not exactly the kind of checkout page I'm going to use, but uh, you know, this is a random checkout page that I just created. Uh, for example, this is the checkout page for timeline nomination that we actually use. So you can create any kind of checkout page when, you know, when you use the templates of flexi funnels or you can design on your own, right? With a video, with an image, with timer, pointers, everything over here. But just to make the video length shorter, I'm, I'm using a random checkout page. And then you also need a thank you page. I mean, you know, a page in which your customers will get redirected once they make the purchase, right? So just for the sake of this video, I have created this random thank you page. Now, one thing which is very important is that in the checkout page, okay, let me take you inside the checkout page. In the checkout page, this element that you are using, okay, this element that you are using, it has to be uh, this particular element. Let me show you. You need to go to others and this order form. This is the element that you need to pick in your checkout page, okay? Let me just delete this one, by the way, just to, you know, clarify. You need to click on others, order form. And this is how the this particular element is gonna come. And then if you want, you can, you know, add more inputs. For example, you wanna collect the phone number field as well. You can put do that, right? So uh, this is what it will become, all right? And I can click on publish once again. So this is going to become my checkout page, okay? Okay, this is uh, published. And if I open this checkout page in a new tab, you will see the button will not come, okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, click on back to pages. And now you need to click on products, okay? I'm using a fresh account, just that, you know, I can make your job easier to understand all the things. So I don't have any products in this particular account of mine and I will click on create a product. And in this example, we are going to sell a digital product, okay? Now, <clears throat> over here, you can give your product a name. Let's suppose I'm selling a mobile phone, okay? Just for the example purpose. Uh, your product description, it's a live product. Uh, set up the price for the product. Let's suppose I'm going to sell it for, let's say 10 rupees, okay? Click on next. This is a one-time fee, that's correct. Payment options. Uh, depending upon whatever you have integrated over here, you know, I have uh, Razorpay, Instamojo, both of them integrated, so I'm gonna put both of them over here. And uh, just take care of this thing, okay? Minimum Razorpay price has to be rupees one, minimum Instamojo price has to be rupees 10, right? Just in case you are doing it for the testing purposes, this is the minimum price that needs to be there, okay? Then you need to pick up a sales page as well as a thank you page, okay? So uh, over here, we had this project by the name Timeline Nomination. And in this page, SB homepage is the one we are going to select as the sales page, okay? And the thank you page, oh, sorry, the checkout page is this one that we have created. After that, uh, you need to put your support email ID. For example, I'm gonna put sb at This is where your customers can reach out to you after they have made the purchase. Uh, what do you want to do after they have made the purchase? Send them to the thank you page, all right. Uh, timeline nomination and thank you page over here, all right. So this is good to go. Now, what next? Do you want the buyer's data to pass to your order responder? If yes, you need to click on set product rules. Uh, when exactly do you want this to happen? When the product is purchased. 
for all the pricing options yes and uh, you know um, let's suppose active campaign of mine add them to uh, which list let's suppose I wanna add them to my test list where it is yeah over here all right do you want to add it uh, you know do I want to add a tag T uh, you know depending upon me I can if I want click on save so every person who is gonna purchase this particular product that person is gonna be added to my this particular list yes I can select more list as well okay let's suppose I can use a list as well or any other active campaign list or any other you know uh, XYZ list so again my test list over here so now the buyer data is gonna get passed to both these particular um, order responders in these particular list and now I need to click on save okay so now my product is saved you can click on products and see that you know your product is uh, stored over here now you need to come back to projects once again all right and only a very simple thing that you need to do is go back to your project okay you need to connect your sales page to the product okay so click on edit page since this is your sales page okay let's suppose you know I want to use this particular button as my buying button okay so you got to come over here click on uh, settings and now you can click on go to next step in product all right and you can select a product in this case we have only one product so I'm gonna select mobile phone and click on publish and that's it all right that's it that's the only thing that you need to do and now you have your sales page you have a checkout page you have your uh, what do you call it uh, thank you page you have the product ready and now it is good to go it is ready to be sold right uh, let's have it over here let me click on publish URL so I have this sales page right over here right um, Um, oopsie with the button in which I added the uh, is this a mobile section oh yeah this is a mobile section so sorry about that so desktop and mobile <laughs> that's why I was thinking that uh, why it is not visible over there and let me click on publish once again okay now we should have it over there all right so uh, 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 let me hard refresh it once again okay so we have the product over here all right uh, the button over here and now what I can do is I can click over here and I will be redirected to the checkout page let me also copy the URL and if you will see that this uh, particular payment button InstaMojo and ZazerPay has auto loaded all right so you don't need to do anything let me also show you the same process in the incognito window all right um, one second let me also open this let me go back pick up the exact URL all right open the incognito window and let me just show you okay so uh, click here to get access let's have a look at this all right so now I have this checkout page I have these fields and I have this uh, pay via instamojo and pay via razor pay option all right so now if I want to go ahead and make the purchase let's suppose I wanna put my phone number my name my email ID all right and you know with which particular platform I want to make the purchase let's suppose I want to make the purchase with instamojo in this particular example okay all right so uh, I'm gonna use my UPI payment app to complete the purchase so allow me just a minute let me open my mobile and complete the purchase by the way if you will notice the product name that we created which was mobile phone this is also visible over here all right did you see that and uh, 
and now I am completing the purchase it's almost done and if you will see you will see payment successful over here and just like that it is gonna redirect you to the thank you page that you have selected so your customers will be redirected to the thank you page that you have selected alright so that's the entire process you just need to uh, create the sales page, thank you page, checkout page and uh, connect, create a product, connect the product with the sales page and you are good to go, you are ready to sell anything online, alright. So yeah, this is it for this particular video, I'm gonna see you in the next one.